Hello everyone, I'm back with yet another Peach Guide, today detailing practice drills. So if you decided to play Peach, you're probably going to find yourself in training mode at one point or another. Whether it is for a couple hours to get your float cancels down, or for years to become the ultimate tech god, training mode is a great place. For this video, I've compiled some things to practice and some drills from people who have done it before to make your time in training mode more efficient. But first, I have a few announcements to make. I've gotten quite a few comments and DMs asking me to demonstrate tech or to show my controller or to play games with people. So I have made a Twitch channel to cover all of this. Here it is. Although the YouTube comment section is great for communication, I feel like this can be an even better resource. Come to me with every question you got about Peach, and I will play some viewer battles with you. Again, here's the channel. I plan on being live Tuesday at 8pm EST, Friday at 2pm EST. Make sure to follow to see when I'm live. Also, one more thing, I would like to thank everyone who helped me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. This is great, y'all are the best. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled Peach Guide. Now, if you like practicing tech as much as I do, fear not because there are so many things to practice with Peach. You can start with getting your ground floats down and then combining ground floats with aerials, both in place and dashing. All of the aerials have different timings and you'll want to work on spamming them in quick succession. The most advanced application of float cancels is raw ground float bear. Head hide float is an important tech to get down. Of course, if you want to do advanced stuff, the JCFF input is important. Moving JCFF is even more important. SH JCFF is slightly less important. And then you got DJCFF. DJCFF, DDUA, or. There are simple conversions you should work on, such as Nair into down tilt and Bear into down tilt. You can even get Fair into down tilt or Dare into down tilt. You'll probably want to have your down tilt to up air loops down, and you can even practice the more advanced down tilt to JCFF loops. Nair into Nair is an important combo, and Bear into Bear is also an important combo. Down air can also combo into itself, and up air can combo into itself. You can practice cycling turnips optimally until you pull your favorite flavor, then you can combo with it. There are just so many turnip combos to go through. You can practice stage specific platform movement, you can practice your attack cancels, uh, you can practice sitting in shield. You can practice whatever this is, or this thing, or just whatever you can come up with. The sky is the limit for tech you can practice. You can practice all the techs I showed you by themselves. By learning all these inputs, you essentially obtain the pieces of Peach's combo game, and these long combos you can practice together. But here are some drills to make learning Peach's inputs a bit easier. A great way to practice ground float nairs is to go into training mode, turn on fixed damage, set a character like Palutena to 17%, make sure staling is off, and then try to chain as many nairs as you can and get them to combo on the combo meter. You've all seen the Samsora video. You'll want to do this in both directions. Here's a super fun fact about float cancels. You can actually fast fall after the hit lag to make the aerials more optimal. This will make Peach land on the ground earlier, allowing her to act sooner. This is how you get that minus two on shield number you see on ultimate frame data. Now, if you can do the Palutena drill like this, I have a lot of respect for you because I can't. I have a different method for practicing ground float bear that I think you'll like. It is actually possible to combo bear into itself three times, and doing so will require a number of specific inputs. First, you'll need a ground float back air with backwards momentum, usually done through a RAR. Then you'll need to do another one immediately, and on the third one you're going to need to attack cancel back air. Practicing this combo can ensure you have multiple variants of back air down. Practicing ground float up air 1 drag downs is pretty easy. All you need to do is set a character like Palutena to 36% with the same settings as before. You can then down tilt up air 1 to your heart's content, or till you have joint pain. While basic, it is important to have your head height floats down. You can use the lines in the background of training mode to make sure you can head height float at various heights. Additionally, you can add the down air and drag down up airs into this practice drills. Add in some FCFF practice and you have all of the essential peach tech covered. Nice job! Let's get more technical. And by more technical, I pretty much mean adding in JCFF. The first thing you want to do with JCFF is just to practice the basic two-frame input. Once you have this down, you'll want to transition into getting the far more useful moving input into your muscle memory. Of course, during a match, you're going to be throwing out hitboxes and comboing with JCFF, 
So you can practice things like down tilt into JCFF nair loops or down tilt into JCFF up air one loops. Something I've been working on a lot lately is DJCFF aerials. I try to land them on the opponent with backwards drift, dash away, and then repeat. This will make for some great pressure in an actual match, especially with back air. Alright, do you want a schmoove? This so-called schmovement can be done through platform drills. Platform drills are incredibly popular in the Peach community. They can help you learn inputs such as DJCFF while adding to your mobility in an actual match. It is up to you what you want to work into these platform drills. All of the JCFF variants can be practiced in different ways and with different timings. You can even throw in aerials too. Here's one that I just did that incorporates all the JCFF variants. I also use this movement where I jump off the platform but then JCFF back on. It's a great bait in an actual match. Do be sure to practice on all legal stages with all the different platform heights. This last category of drills emphasizes control over turnips. I think it is essential to practice your SHJCFF item catches and item drops in training mode, as well as other item catches, such as aerials, especially after bouncing them off your opponent. You can even practice your item handling by throwing the turnip off the stage and recatching it, or throwing it up and recatching it. Whatever you have to do to become more familiar with items. Turnips are an essential part of Peach's kit, so you want to be able to manage them. Alright, after you've learned everything, just for fun, you can try combining everything you've learned into one big turnip zero to death combo. There's one more thing I want to say, and I can't emphasize this enough. The best practice you can get with Peach is by playing the game. Please guys, please don't get stuck in training mode forever. Training mode's helpful for getting inputs down, but to actually get better at the game and to get better at Peach and start landing these combos, you're going to need to play the game a lot. After you've learned the basics and you've started to get some of the advanced tech down, you'll want to be spending 99% of your time in matches with other people. Truly, this is where learning ultimate takes place. If you need someone to play, come play me, I guess. But actually, check out the Peach Discord matchmaking arena, where there are plenty of cool people waiting to play you, regardless of your skill level. Anyway, that's about all. Please feel free to post your practice routines that you've come up with down in the comments so we can all learn. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on Twitch.